All right, so I have tonight's Yankees lineup. And after last night's dramatic walk-off in 13 innings uh, <laughs> from Jose Trevino, they have seven walk-off wins this year so far. Seven. Yes. Two by Trevino, two by Donaldson, uh, two by Glaber Torres, and one by Aaron Judge. And uh, pretty phenomenal. They're on a, they're on a roll. Um, before I go through the lineup, uh, I have some. I'm hearing some more Yankee chatter about some more names kind of being added to the potential trade deadline acquisition list or targets or whatnot that, that you may or may not have heard of. You know, we talked about Andrew Benatendi, we talked about Scott Barlow, even David Bednar from the Pirates, a super duper reliever. He will cost a lot of prospect capital to acquire in any trade, so it's just something to keep in mind. Uh, but now I'm hearing David Robertson, former Yankee uh, reliever, current Cubs closer, who actually uh, Yankees face last night. I'm also hearing some other former Yankee relievers, Mark Melanson, Ian Kennedy as well, and uh, part of that former young Yankee nucleus that they're talking about potential, potentially bringing back, or at the, at the very least targeting for trade deadline. Um, I'm also hearing Victor Robles, young 25-year-old outfielder from the Washington Nationals, who's not a free agent until 2025, so maybe young controllable years and improved defense is um, you know obviously something that they're looking to address. And I think more importantly than not, their team chemistry is important to them. So whoever they bring in, you know, they're going to want to make sure that there's no disruption in team chemistry. So um, we'll see what happens. I mean, you know, Cashman can come out of nowhere and do some monster trade. There's a couple of monster trade, you know, obviously there's one with the Pirates that they could potentially work on. One with the Marlins, there's a couple ideas there with the, with the Royals, the Reds, like, there are some ideas in terms of black box or trades, but obviously they want to make sure the right fits come here. The best player is not always the best fit. So and I, that's something I've said before as well, and, and, and it makes sense. It makes sense. And at the end, But at the end of the day, they do need improvement up the middle in center field in terms of defense. They can't just keep running Aaron Judge out there every day. Um, it would just, you know, got to preserve the guy's health if they want to keep him here the rest of the year healthy and ma maximize their chances of potentially winning a World Series. So just something to keep in mind. And... Uh, We'll see what they do as you know, and as we get closer to the deadline, it's still a little less than two uh, two months away. It's August second. The chatter is going to pick up. So any other news that comes out in terms of Yankee trade targets, you know you're going to get it here. So please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And if you do, hit the bell icon and the like button too, uh, so that you don't miss everything. So um, and it's greatly appreciated too. But uh, let's get to the lineup. Aaron Judge is actually leading off tonight. He's DH. He's getting a little half day off. Josh Donaldson's batting second playing third base. Anthony Rizzo batting third and generally his customary uh, batting spot, first base. Giancarlo Stanton's back in, playing right field. Uh, Glaber Torres batting fifth, second base. Aaron Hicks batting sixth in center field. Isaiah Kainafalefa batting seventh at shortstop. Jose Trevino at his uh, dramatic walk-off last night uh, batting eighth at catcher. And Joey Gallo is batting ninth in left field. So DJ LeMay has got the day off today. And um, Jordan Montgomery's on the mound. So hopefully we can continue some momentum here and uh, put ourselves in a position to either win this series tonight or maybe even sweep them tomorrow. So, but um, that's the lineup. Obviously, I'll be out later on with the post game recap. It'll be during our Saturday night live. We'll just we'll keep it flowing at that 10 o'clock wherever we're at, wherever we're at in the game. So, uh, and at that point, it'll probably be in the eighth or ninth inning, probably. So we'll see. But that's the lineup, and that's the chatter I'm hearing about additional names in terms of. Uh, Yankee trade deadline target. So if you heard any other names, let me know. There's obviously other names we'd like to hear, but uh, those are the names that are being most frequently kind of sandwiched into this one pool right now So for the Yankees. But uh, that's it, guys. I'll keep it coming. I'll talk to you tonight.